Hello Geneva and welcome to Geneva Works. I'm your host Kevin Starr. While most towns in the western suburbs get their power through ComEd, that function is performed right here in Geneva, courtesy of our Public Works Department and more specifically our Electric Division. Here today to talk to us is Electric Division Superintendent Hal Wright. Geneva gets its power from several different sources. We have baseload power that comes from Prairie State, which is a state-of-the-art mine mouth coal-fired power plant in southern Illinois. And we have waste management renewable energy, which is our landfill generator located here on Fabian Parkway in Geneva. We have intermediate load, and we get our intermediate load from NextEra Power Marketing. That's through a power purchase contract. We have peak power. We get that through the Geneva Generation Facility. If we can buy it cheaper through the market, we'll buy it through the PJM Regional Transmission Operator. And that's where, that's where we get our power in Geneva. The city's energy strategy is to buy diversified power. So we have several, several sources and we have that diversified mix that helps us out whenever one thing changes another one stays the same or, or gets better. So we have coal-fired power, we have methane from the landfill, and we have natural gas that uh, fuels our city-owned generation, our Geneva generation facility. That diversified mix along with our power contract from NextEra and from the energy we get off the market, both of those are diversified as well, helps us keep our rates stable for our customers. So the diversity that we have for our power isn't just in its fuel source, it's also in the, the length of the contracts we have. We try and stabilize our rates for Geneva customers and our power contracts that we buy power through Prairie State are good for 30 years. We've also bought the, the coal for 30 years, so the fuel source is stabilized as well. That helps our customers with a, a stable rate. The uh, contract that we have for landfill generation power, we've had, uh, that's a two-year contract we just signed, and we've got 26 years of history buying from them. So it's, it's also a stable source that we're familiar with. We also have a contract with NextEra. That's a three-year contract. We're just starting the second year of that contract and we bought into and purchased, built our own generation, Geneva Generation Facility, so we're, we're ownership there and the only thing that changes is fuel cost for that. So that diversity is, is also in, in the length of time that our, our contracts run and how we buy our power. When we buy off the market, we take advantage of short-term savings that way, so that real-time rate, that day-ahead rate that we purchase from, that also benefits our customers. We can choose from longer sources or, or shorter term sources, depending on where the, the rate is better. So that, that diversity that we have is also environmental in nature. The uh, Mine Mouth Coal Plant in Prairie State in Southern Illinois, it has over a billion dollars worth of environmental controls that were invested in it to, to clean up that coal. It's the cleanest power plant built in the U.S. recently from the ground up. Our landfill generation is considered a green source as well. Since the methane that comes off the, the landfill has to be dealt with, it would be burned normally and just wasted. But uh, we buy the energy that they produce through that methane and that's green power. And our Geneva Generation Facility uses natural gas and that's a, a lower polluting form as well. So we feel that we're being environmentally responsible with the way that we purchase our power. Best way to report a power outage Monday through Friday, natural or normal working days, is to call the City of Geneva Public Works 630-232-1503 and talk to the person that answers the phone. On off hours, you should call uh, the City of Geneva Police Department. They do our emergency dispatch off hours, nights and weekends. That's 630-232-4736. Street light outages should also be reported to the Public Works Department. Call this same number, 630-232-1503, and they'll ask you all the questions we need to be able to find the light and figure out what's wrong with it. 
If you want to, you can go onto our website and report it there. The, uh, it's critical that we can find the light easily, so if you could give us an address or a description like the number of light poles it is from the intersection, that kind of thing, that'll help us find it and uh, the faster we can find it, the more efficient we can be. If you have questions about your utility bill, you can talk to the Finance Division. If it's questions about service, you should call the Public Works Facility. To reach the Finance Division, call 630-232-0854. Uh, there's lots of ways that tree trimming is conducted in Geneva. Parkway tree trimming is done by the street division. Um, line clearance tree trimming is done by the, the city of Geneva and also by ComEd. Geneva has a, we hire out a contractor to do that work for us. We try and go through the, the city on a four year cycle. We also trim hot spots, uh, areas where the trees grow faster. So it's possible that we'll be back every other year if, if it's an area where the trees get into the lines really fast. ComEd also tries and, and trims on a four-year cycle, and they also do hot spot inspections and trimming. So it's not uncommon to see trimming occurring all around the city throughout the year from the, the different entities that do that. Um, on the City of Geneva's website, there are current tree trimming maps for both ComEd and for the City of Geneva. So if you want to see where we're trimming that year, uh, please go to the website. Load reduction program mainly occurs in uh, the three summer months, June, July, August, maybe early September. Um, when the city thinks it's going to be setting a peak, uh, we send out a tweet to the, the followers, so if you want to participate in this voluntary program, you need to sign up for the city's Twitter account. On those peak days, the city runs its generation, and the reason it does that is because capacity requirements are, are very expensive, and if we can run our generation, we lower those capacity needs on the transmission system, and that saves us money in the following year. Those savings flow back to the customer through the variable component in our rates. It's called a PCA or a purchase cost adjustment. So if the residents are willing to help us with that and lower their energy consumption on those peak days, those savings in the following year will flow back to all the residents in Geneva, all the customers in Geneva through that PCA, that variable component. Good energy saving tips, so they'd be the same things you've probably heard many times. Buy energy efficient appliances, um, use energy efficient light bulbs, LED bulbs, compact fluorescent bulbs, they save a lot. Uh, on peak, peak days, hot days, turn your air conditioner back a couple degrees. Those are the, the best ways to save. When you leave a room, turn the lights off. Simple, normal, everyday things. You can find out more information about the Electric Division operations by going to the city's website, www.geneva.il.us. During working hours, we'll be happy to take your phone calls, and that's 630-232-1503. Working hours for the Public Works facility are different than other divisions within Geneva, so our hours are 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. You can always stop by Public Works at 1800 South Street in Geneva as well. And if I'm around, I'd be happy to give you a tour. That's all the time we have for Geneva Works today. I'd like to thank Hal Wright for his insight into the electric division operations. We also thank you for watching. We hope you tune in again next month to see how Geneva is working for you.